but you can make your own delicious steak bakes at home. And Harry Biker Psyching is here in the kitchen today to show us how. This is just one of the brilliant bakes that is here in your new book, Cy and Dave Myers, Brilliant Bakes. There you go, over 100 sweet and savoury bakes bursting with flavour. And this, you can smell the flavour. It, can, yeah, it, 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 that's it, all. It's so full of flavour, and it's and it's really, really simple. simple How, um, how's Dave? He's doing okay. He's doing okay. All the numbers are going in the right direction. He's um, he's still in the trenches of his chemo, but he, he just gets stronger every day, which oh, is a good. great sign. So hopefully you'll Send be him back. Send love. Please. I will, of course, of course. Well, if I he's will, watching of today, will. lots of love, mate. Yeah, lots of love. Missed you today. This is the best gravy I think I've <laughs> possibly ever tasted. Well, it's really it's really simple, and I'll go through the process with you. So what I've done is, this is stew and steak. I've just fried that off. You let it go cool, OK? So just set it aside. With some onions, you wait till they go translucent. You put some garlic Can I just in. ask you a question? With the stewing steak, do you have to cook it for a long time? Well, this is, this is, this is what we're going to get to. All right. Shall I wait? Yes. I'll pause. I'll just eat. And then you just eat. And then, <laughs> uh, and then with a little bit of flour. And that, that serves as a thickener for said gravy. Mm. Some mustard powder. <laughs> That goes in as well, and just stir that in so it coats the onions and garlic. And then we've got some tomato puree. That goes in. And now this is the... And that's basically the beginnings... Of the gravy? Of the gravy. OK. Wow. So then, just give that a stir, push some heat through it a little bit, and then we start with the wet, some red wine. OK. Yeah, that and also, amazing. You know, just keep seasoning as you go. You know, just be careful and just have a little taste. And then we have some beef stock. And we put that in. And then a little sprig of thyme. Mm -hmm. And then we put, you know, the meat that we set aside mm -hmm. before? Yep. We put that back in. And then what we want to do is intensify all those flavours. So you cook that on the hob, preferably with a lid on it, for about 40 minutes. Oh, OK. So, that, so it goes really, really tender. Take the lid off halfway through so all of the moisture evaporates, intensifies those, intensifies those flavours, and then you're left with this. Right. Now, you have to let it cool. Mm -hmm. So put it in a bowl, let it cool, set it aside, put it in the fridge because it needs to be in the fridge for a good 30 minutes. Because what you can't do is put hot filling onto said pastry. But you also can't put hot stuff in the fridge, can you? Because it heats no, the fridge. So you've got, you've got to wait for it to properly cool down before you even put it in the fridge. Before it even goes anywhere near the mm. fridge. But absolutely right. Now, this is the good bit. This is mm. building your steak bake. Mm -hmm. So, we take a little piece there, like that. Now, this is the key, isn't it? Getting the right amount in. Yeah, just the right amount. About, a, about look, that's a dessert spoonful, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. About that. Because what you don't want is to overfill it. I think we might be able to get burst. a little bit more in there for you there, Hon. And then the obligatory eggy wash. Mm hmm which is round your glue. The corner, yeah, which is the glue bit, yeah. Put that back. Then escape me and just go around the corner. And it's this is just ready, ready. Um, you can buy this ready rolled puff pastry, mm -hmm. dead easy. And, and then you just cut them into these rectangles, yeah. Cut them into the rectangles. Could yeah. you make one massive one? Yeah, you could. Like a beef Wellington. Could you make yeah, like a huge, like, the steak share. bake the share for, for bonfire night and for Guy Fawkes? Great idea. Look at your eyes, they're like, yes. <laughs> no, no. Can so it be the... the size of a small family car? Yes, it could do. <laughs> yeah. You'd need a small si sized family filling, but yeah. <laughs> and then, and look, look, how simple can it be? Look, you just put that over the top, and then this is the good bit that makes it look like one of those boat steak bakes. Take a fork mm -hmm. and then you just crimp it like that. And go to the last one. See what I'm doing? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that keeps it all kind of in there. Yeah, it keeps it all in there, keeps it all lovely. And then the next key bit, so you don't, so it doesn't explode, Holly, is... Take a knife mm -hmm. and just a few little holes just to let the steam out. Oh, and that stops it popping. That stops it popping. OK, that stops mm. the pressure from the seal. Eggy wash, like this, because you want that lovely... And presumably, yeah. I mean, obviously beef is king, but mm -hmm. would you... You could do this with any sort well, of... You could do it with, yeah, you could do it with chicken, you could do it with beans, you could do it with sausages, you yeah. could do... I mean, fundamentally, it's a filling in a pastry. Yeah, That's yeah. That's all it is. And then you take this off, and this would be a laugh. You there we go. Well. Into there, like that. 
They go into the oven mm -hmm. for 45 minutes, and you come out, and here's one we did earlier. I'll just do this. The magic of telly. It comes out like that. Oh, my God. Ta-da! Ta-da! I mean, they are amazing, aren't they? I can see why you're calling this hangover food. Oh, it is. It's just a bit... Look, we've all done it, haven't we? No. You know, no, I don't know what you're talking with about. A, with no a sausage idea. roll. Come on. You know. <laughs> and then I've got a... Have you got your gravy? Yes, have I You've got, got the gravy? Additional gravy, and you just pour that in an unctuous sort of, you know, Nigella Lawson way. So that's what was left over from when you took the. No, this is gravy I've made separately. Oh, you made that separately? Yeah, because don't forget, all of the, all of that gravy, that all of this has got to reduce. Goes inside it. Yeah, so or you don't want to oh, lose any flavours at all. You see, because that. So all reduction is and the intensification of, of flavour. Is it, all it simply is, mm. is evaporating all the liquid mm -hmm. so you've got all of the good bits of the wine and the beef stock and the herbs and the and onions and all of that. It just pushes Intensifies that flavour. Intensifies flavour. So your, um, your bakes in here, where have they come from? What sort of... Uh, is, this, is this part of the hairy biker's travels that you've gathered these? Well, it, it, it's certainly through life, because the whole thing is what Dave and I wanted to produce, we wanted to produce a baking book that gets covered in muck you know, and flour and, and sticky print, because we want it to be a book that you refer to. It's yeah. always on you think, oh, I fancy making something. So the book is designed to actually have... There's such an eclectic mix of bakes. Mm -hmm. And um, and some of them with in mind that people are skint at the minute, so there's there's a lot of bakes in there that you can feed six for way under a tenner, and, oh, you know, so good. it's that type of thing. Um, lovely puddings and just, just a little bit of inspiration for everybody that loves baking because we took our inspiration from our childhoods and from our mams and Auntie Hilda's mm -hmm. because we come from a generation that we, we, never, we never bought pies. We yeah. never bought... Everything was made, made at home. Yeah. It was bread, biscuits, you know, cakes. We just didn't buy them. So Dave and I kind of took that and said, should we do a book like that? So that's what it is. And you know, it's that nice sort of nostalgia that comes with home-baked products that just, we need a bit of... It just makes you it feel good, doesn't it? It does at the minute. We do at the minute. Made with love. Yeah, made with love. And it, yeah. fills that, it fills your home with just great smells. And, those, and nothing lingers in the house more than freshly baked bread or a mm. baked pie or a cake. I'm going to be dreaming of this in the Smell. morning. Um, I'm really... You I'm... stick one in the post. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, <laughs> to... We'll keep one for you. Thank <laughs> you. I just need to put one to one side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would Good. be perfect. Thank and a bucket you. of gravy. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, this You're is very the, uh, This is the brilliant... Bait! There we go. There's a lot in there. It's heavy, isn't it? It's a very heavy <laughs> book. Yeah. There you are. Uh, for all of the details of today's recipes and more delicious ideas from our This Morning Chefs, head to Thank free you. this morning. Thank you.